All right, guys, so I know it's been a while, but I am back. Um, I have really just been filming a lot of leg days because I know that that's what everybody wants to see, and that's what I'm doing a lot of these days. Um, so I started something new. I don't know if I've even told you guys, but I'm doing like three days a week of legs. Um, I'm really separating the body parts. I'm doing a lot of quads one day, a lot of hamstrings, and then a lot of like glutes and hamstrings. Um, some days I go heavy, and then I really just kind of play everything by ear. It depends on how my joints and how everything feels that day. It's not like a specific thing, and it's not even the same days every week. So this day, I was feeling particularly good. Uh, this is me putting on my little bit of cream that I have um, that really helps anytime my back is feeling a little bit tender. Uh, so I'm probably about like 98% better. Um, and this day, I was like really feeling good. So I wouldn't say that I felt the worst. Um, but basically, that's just me applying my uh, cream and getting ready to go do my uh, face in hack squat. So I did a couple sets. So I'm really trying to like really warm up, like a lot, like a lot, a lot. Um, I'm doing a lot of warm up sets. And those sets to me, they don't count. I've always done warm up sets, but I, I, I'm definitely doing a lot more these days. So um, I only have one plate on there. And here's the thing. I say this with all due respect. I know sometimes people will look and I'm saying lightweight and it's like what their top set is. But remember that I've been doing this for a really, really, really long time. So, you know, even on my light days, it would be somebody's heavy day. But I, I, don't, I don't mean to say that in any disrespectful kind of way. So I also got very inspired by my good friend, the Ab Chick on Instagram. Uh, she is a bikini competitor and she is by far the hardest working maybe close to person or one of the top, the hardest working people I have ever met in my life. Um, but I've never in my life, she is by far the hardest working bikini person I've ever seen in my life. Like I've, ne I, don't, I don't even understand how she does it, but whatever. Um, and I'm, I actually, if you saw my post about how I'm doing a free seminar, I'm going to be talking about her. I did print up a bunch of pictures, but the point in me talking about that is because I saw her do this exercise with three plates and I'm like, oh, this woman is amazing. She's like 118 pounds and she it, like trains really heavy. And this is where I teach people that it's a matter of the diet that really is the factor as to the way your body moves. Like you can't gain weight just from, you know, lifting heavy. You have to lift heavy properly and you also have to eat to gain weight. So whatever, long story short, if you are interested in coming to my free seminar and you are local, look, this is me dancing because I'm feeling good. Um, please go check out the other video that I posted on my free seminar. Um, and I would love to have you. You gotta book your slot. So this is me just acting a fool. I also got some new music, and music is energy. So I didn't want to go heavier on the weights here, so I figured oh, I'll just add a band. And it was high, um, so it does add a little bit, not as much tension. I mean, the lower it is on your leg, or uh, well, closer to your knee, the harder it is, because um, it's really pulling those knees together. Right now, you know, it's not really pulling anything together, but I have fire my glutes just a little bit more to keep it up there. Um, so, Again, I mean, I was just feeling really good this day. So then I decided, and again, I was playing everything by ear. You know what? I haven't done Bulgarians in a while because of my hip was bothering me. And uh, so I started with a, I think I, I think I started with a 40. Then I went right to a 60. Then I went to an eight, 70. And then I went to an 80. And what I did was I committed to 8 to 10. And on the last set, which I think I skip here, hopefully I skip here, uh, to go right to the 80 after I'm done with this one. So I committed on my last set. Oh, no, here, you're going to watch me do the 70 now. So, but uh, you'll see in a second. When I get to the 80, I committed. I'm going to do my last set with a, uh, an isometric and like a 10-second isometric. So I think I do eight on each leg here. Um and then with the 80, I did eight on each leg. Now, again, keep in mind, I've done a lot heavier than this. You guys have seen some of my past ones where I've done the 100-pound dumbbell and the chains. So I, I, I'm like, I'm just, I'm dancing around it right now. I probably could have, could have gone heavier, but I didn't want to keep pushing. So um, as you can see, I'm about to 
hold it at the bottom of the last one. But the big part here, and then also like let go, the big part here is standing up after. So you have to then do the top part of the movement. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I've done this one before and I've done it with deadlifts and I like regular traditional, like, like touch the ground deadlifts. Um, I, I did it here for stiff legged deadlifts and you can see like my, my hips don't come back too much and it wasn't creating a lot of tension. Um, but again, I didn't want to aggravate my back. So I just went really light. Uh, I went really light on the band. Um, but then I changed, I felt my hamstrings felt good. My back felt really good. I did have on my waist trainer here and I decided to go really heavy. Um, and again, this isn't my heaviest, but it's, you know, the heaviest I've done in over a month. Um, and then I asked my friend, he asked me to videotape him. So I said, Hey, hook me up. And I asked him to videotape me. So, uh, felt good. To again lift heavy. I really have that mind muscle connection to focus on my hamstrings and my glutes so I don't feel it in my lower back. My abs are super, super tight. And then that's a little flexy after the workout.